And this is your third year as head yep, coach? Yep, coming up on year three at Northeast. And, you know, just let's start there. I mean, there's just the challenges of walking into a Class A program that had a lot of change over before you got there just to, to kind of stabilize this program and get it to where it's at. You bet. So I came in as the third head coach in three years. Um, so the players there had a lot of turnover, a lot of new learning to go on. And, and I've just been impressed with the commitment as we've challenged guys uh, one, in the first year, just to commit and look at what does it take to be a Class A football player? What does it take to play at the next level? Uh, what does that look like? And, and, you know, from last football season to this football season, that was the big deal on the commitment. And, um, our numbers have jumped up huge from the amount of guys we have out. To, I think the first, you know, the first camp we had in the summer, my first summer, we had around 60 guys out. And once we got through the season, we had mid-80s. And then we finished year two with um, 110 or so. So one, getting our numbers up was a big thing and showing what it means to commit. And now we're really focusing on the discipline side of it and what it takes to win and dominate at an elite level. And we've been blessed that we have quite a few guys that have played a lot because of the situations, like some of the ones that you got to talk to today that played tons as juniors and tons as sophomores. Um, and we're really looking forward to have some big breakthrough seasons and lead in their senior year. Yeah, the weight room culture there seems really good too. It yep. looks like you've got a good core of guys that they get after it together in there. Yep, so, and, and you talk about that commitment and that culture, and that's what we've tried to help instill and help reinforce with our strength coaches at the school. Um, we do a great job during the school day and after the school day and helping prepare our guys to play. Yeah, let's start off Dom. Um, big frame, pushes 6'5". Um, heard from North Dakota State already. Uh, looks like he's still a real young kid, though, when you talk. I mean, how much potential and upside does Dom have for you? I think, I think Dom has a lot of upside. As, as you said, it looks like he's, he's still got a lot of growing to do, even with his size. Uh, he is an outstanding perimeter blocker, just with his size and his physicality. Whether that's sealing off a defensive end or putting him out in space, um, as he kind of plays that tight end wide spot for us and letting him block out on the edge. Um, so we like going wide to his side quite a bit as he does an outstanding job there and catches the ball well, um, just with his size and his frame. And then, do you want me to talk about the other ones right away? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, if you Perfect. want to go to the next, Gavin. Um. We met in Gavin, um, he's been a two year captain for us. Um, so he does the right things on and off the field. And I think, uh, number one, that he leads with just his work ethic and his ability to help teach and promote uh, what we're trying to instill to the younger guys. As he really owns our, our linemen group, and we've seen big gains, especially from our going to be juniors, going to be seniors, going to be sophomores, guys, as he's helped teach them what, what we're trying to accomplish and get it done. Uh, he is a just a full motor guy that makes a lot of plays, especially being a little undersized on the line. Um, but he's working to help overcome that as he put on a, you know, a ton of healthy weight and got faster and stronger from the sophomore to his junior year. And he's already in the process of doing that. Um, as I think it's 40 times since this summer already dropped almost three tenths of a second from when we tested before football season to when we tested this winter. So yeah, he's probably one of the stronger guys you'll see in a weight room too when you look at his. So he is very strong and very committed to, to doing things the right way. And then Dylan Gray, I mean, he just looks like kind of a classic Lincoln Northeast tough kid. I mean, what, what's he bring for you guys as a, as a linebacker? Bet, without a doubt, um, Dylan is an, uh, an excellent leader and has a, a full-speed motor that goes. He's able to make plays um, inside and outside as he runs sideline to sideline. His speed is coming up even more, which should help him make even more plays on the outside as he's learning to read things better. And uh, maybe the one thing that sticks out the most about Dylan is I think he's one of the toughest hitters that I've had the chance to coach or see. Um, that when he hits, there's a big pop that you don't necessarily hear all the time anymore is that he has that explosiveness um, to just unload on guys and lead the way and just the intensity he plays with. And then two other guys uh, we got to get to, Connor and Riley. Yep. So you bet. So, um, Riley and Connor are some of our young guys that had a chance due to circumstances to play quite a bit. Riley started uh, pretty much the whole season at offensive line for us as a sophomore, which is very tough to do at Class A. And Riley's a guy that never played football a down in his life before coming in as a freshman. And to see the gains that he's made uh, in 
a little over a year, just strength-wise, mobility-wise, speed-wise. Um, and with his size, he's getting a little bit of interest from people, um, which would be expected because he has the size, and I think he has the determination and the work ethic to help prepare him for the next level. And Connor, who we mentioned, um, came in and started the year as a freshman with our freshman group and played a little bit of JV, and he just kept showing up. He kept making plays, so he had the chance to start for us in the secondary in the back half of the season for four or five games, um, and he really stepped in and we didn't have any drop off as he was eager to jump in and play varsity and compete with the older guys who were out there and actually made quite a, quite a few plays for us. And he's another guy that has a little bit of a pop when he hits that you see and that you hear. And we're excited to see how he continues to develop over the next three years.